Hi, my name is Kent Lee, and I am a professor in the Computer Science Department at Luther College. And this is the first of a series of videos that go along with my textbook, Python Programming Fundamentals, which I encourage you to buy and read along with as you view these videos. In this video from chap that accompanies Chapter 1, I show you how to create a Python program using the Wing IDE. Uh, the IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. And uh, whether you've installed Wing on a Mac or on a PC, this video should show you how to create a program and run that program from within Wing. Um, the first thing you need to do is you need to start the Wing IDE. The Wing IDE can be started on a Mac by either going to your dock or going to the Applications folder and finding Wing and starting it. If you're on a PC, you should be able to go to the Start menu and find Wing under the Start menu and start it up the same way. It'll look relatively the same no matter which way you start it. And if you click on Python Shell, just to be absolutely certain, you should have Python 3 showing up in the shell. If you don't see that, please follow my uh, previous video that showed you how to install and configure Wing. To begin writing a program in Wing, what you need to do is you need to go up to File and choose New to get, a, to get an edit pane so that you can start to type a Python program. Um, from, within Python, from within the uh, Wing IDE, you can easily uh, type a program. Um, I give an example in the text. I'll give you a different example here. We'll start off, since it's close to Christmas right now, we'll start off with a uh, program that prints Merry Christmas to the screen. So in, a, in Python, if we want to print something to the screen, we type the word print, all in small letters, a left parent, and a quote, either single or double quote, it doesn't matter. And, uh, and the text that we want to print. So if I want to print Merry Christmas with uh, three exclamation points, I'll go ahead and type print Merry Christmas, and I can go ahead and run this program. There are two ways to run the program, either the Run button here or the Debug button. I would like for us to use the Debug button in this series of videos and in, in a in any course you're taking with me. So we're going to uh, go ahead and click the debug button. It tells me that untitled1.py is not saved. I want to go ahead and save this program right now. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, place this someplace. I'm just going to put it on my desktop for right now and I'm going to call it uh, xmas.py. So um, we'll just call this xmas.py and save it right on the desktop. You can see it showed up there, xmas.py, it's saved, and uh, we have Merry Christmas, and it just ran. The debug I.O. tab down here shows the output from the program after it has run. If I want to add to this program, I can go ahead and add another print statement if I like. Um, just pressing enter, going down to the next line, and print uh, something else. So have a happy new year and I can go ahead and run it again it will go ahead and save it automatically so it has been saved and I've got uh, another line written I said earlier that you could use either single or double quotes to print strings to the screen so I could replace the single quote or the double quotes with single quotes you have to have a matching pair, so I have to put single quotes at both end or double quotes at both end, and it will still run and give me the same output. So single quotes or double quotes work for printing text to the screen. Um, if I close out of this, I can either close out of it by doing a file quit here or uh, just click the X to close the window. If I start this program back up again, the Wing IDE program, it will automatically load up the last program that I was running, so I'll see it there again. You can see I've got all of my, uh, my text there that I, that I entered, my two print statements. If I go ahead and run it again, it will go ahead and run it. That's all there is to creating a program in Python uh, using the Wing IDE, um, and uh, 
we'll be doing this uh, many more times in the videos to come.